Right, just before we get into this video, I thought I'd do a quick vlog handheld cam section to say thank you for all the support this year. The channel has grown um, just as much as I wanted it to, so I'm very chuffed with that, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys, so I really am grateful for all of the support. I've got some big plans for 2020, so make sure you stick around for that. Um, but yeah, I think all that's left for me to say is have a good Christmas and New Year, or whatever it is you celebrate. I'm not sure when this is going to go live, so I might miss Christmas, but um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next year. What does £500 buy you these days? Package holiday to Spain, some with an iPhone. What about a £500 car? Is it going to be any good or is it going to be just a bag of nails? We've got a £500 Mark 5 Golf to take a look at. I don't know what reverse is. It's all very good looking at me. Is it this way down? <laughs> I don't know. Is, is that reverse? Is that a gear? It is! <laughs> I concluded by saying I do recommend them, but there was quite a caveat to that. And that caveat was just buy carefully because this one has cost me a fortune. So for this video, I've decided to get the receipts out. They're in this folder and have a look and see just how much it's cost me. On the first morning of the four baller, it is taking us from London on the Ace Cafe, which we're driving now, all the way to Edinburgh over four days. Um, I don't really know how we're going to film this, so I've asked my brother to turn the camera on. I'm just going to say hello, basically. Now, I know I'm not a target audience, and I am wearing shorts, but I happen to think this is a very well-styled and purposeful-looking little SUV. Especially around the front, you've got some nice aggression going on, thanks to the front splitter. You've also got some nice daytime rear lights in the clusters. You've got a big MG badge and a big old distinctive grille.
This is a Suzuki Swift Sport. I'm going to be honest with you, it is a car that over the last week I've grown really fond of. But I'm not about to let that spoil a fair review, so let's get on with it. The fake noise that comes into the cabin is quite, quite good. It's not the worst, is it? No, it sounds fairly legit. If you don't 